So I run a weekly Q&A over on my Instagram and one of the most common questions I get is, will you go mirrorless? When will you go mirrorless? So I wanna talk about the four reasons why I would upgrade or have upgraded a camera. Now the first one is pretty obvious. My cameras are ragged. Um, I use my 5D Mark IIs for eight years. I bought them secondhand when I got them. They'd all had new shutters at least once each. And by the time it came to upgrading, they were absolutely ruined. I spent two grand per body, and I spent the same again on my new upgrades, which are the 5 DSRs. They cost two grand per body as well. I bought a few of those and replaced them. It's a pretty logical thing. Now I could have bought a more expensive camera, but the 5 DSR was the best bang for buck. As a 50 megapixel high resolution studio camera, there was nothing better than that apart from the 5D Mark IV. But that was significantly more money and didn't really offer any upgrades. Now the next one is the reason I've bought a camera recently, kind of a camera is a bit complicated, um, and that is that it offers something that your current one doesn't. Now, a jump from 20 to 50 megapixels for some people might be that thing. A jump from 20 to 30 won't be that thing. Um, but for me, buying a Cambo camera, that offered something completely new. That offered me greater movements than a Canon tilt shift lens could offer. So greater tilt, shift and swing and much better macro focusing and the option to use lenses which had a manual aperture stop down for stop motion. So that's something I couldn't do before. So that was a, a justified upgrade for me. I still bought it second hand. Now the third one is that there is a new camera that's come out and it offers a significant improvement. And this doesn't happen very often. So in the Canon lineup, the times it's happened is, there was a Canon 20D, which was a crop sensor camera, very early digital. And then they bought out the 5D Mark I. Now there was a 1D already available, which was full frame, but the 5D Mark I was affordable. It was like four and a half thousand pounds for a full frame digital camera. It was the reason most people went from film to digital. It was groundbreaking. That was a viable upgrade. The 5D Mark I to the 5D Mark II, viable upgrade. We suddenly had live view, we had the tether option, and the, the image quality was significantly better. 5D Mark II to 5D Mark III, got some water focus points, not really an upgrade. 5D Mark IV, not really an upgrade again. 5DS, 5DSR, if you needed a high resolution, that was an upgrade, but if you didn't, that's not an upgrade either. Mirrorless, it, it just a different design, but basically the same thing. So it needs to be a substantial upgrade. So for me, a 5DSR to a phase one, 100 megapixel back, that would be the next significant upgrade, or maybe an 80 megapixel back. But that greater bit depth in color, and that high resolution, and the bigger sensor size, that would be a viable upgrade. I can't see Canon bringing anything out which would be a viable upgrade from the 5DSR unless they manage to create some entirely new technology in the sensors. So we shall see, and if they do, I shall purchase. Now, the other one is kind of a business reason, that's a tax reason. Sometimes you get towards the end of the tax year and you might be advised to spend some money. It doesn't happen to me. Um, they might be advised to spend some money and you need to do so. It might be the case that you haven't upgraded your cameras in a few years, so you decide to buy new cameras. That might be a tax efficient purchase. Um, it works differently in every country and in America it works differently in every state, but I know that a few of my American pals are like, I've got to buy new cameras, I've been told to do this. So that is the rationale for it because it reduces their tax bill. I've never been in a position where that is actually a viable option to make a big enough difference that I'd want to remove capital from my business because of the way my business works, but it might be for some other professional photographers. Anyway, that is my when and why I upgrade a camera. I hope it's been of use to you. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. I always read them, even if I don't always get around to replying to them, I do read them. And then sometimes I make a video about the comments. So yes, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.